Hey, this is CWA12C from Exploitation. We are almost done with the HackTheSite.org basic series. We are on basic 8, which I will be showing you today in this tutorial. If you followed up on our last tutorial, basic 7, we worked with some Unix command knowledge. It was pretty basic. I showed you the ls command, which displays files in a given directory. Knowing that, we can take that use a similar code with basic 8 with a server side injection server side is how the server functions rather than client side what we see in HTML or PHP there are various scripts in HTML and PHP which runs in our web browser our web browser does not necessarily run all of the commands the server does. The server tells the site what to do not what your web browser to do. That's what the PHP and HTML is for. So if we do an injection telling the server what to do we can get some of Sam's information. Sam remains confident that an obscured password file is still the best idea but he screwed up with the calendar program. Sam saved the unencrypted password in var www.hackthesite.org HTML missions basic 8 slash. However, Sam's younger daughter Stephanie has learned to code in PHP. She's talented for her age but knows nothing about security. She recently learned about saving files and wants to demonstrate her ability with the script. I'll type in my name. It will save. Your file has been saved. Click here to view it. Hi, C Wage will see. Your name contains eight characters. That is some major coding skills right there. Okay, I'm going to be using a command and submitting it. The PHP will forward it as a server command, and we can get information by specifying what's in this directory. What I'm saying is, oh, whoops, forgot. There we are. We are executing the command ls, which is a Unix command, for displaying files in the directory. And we specify the directory here. We'll submit it. Your file has been saved. Please click here to view the file. Hi, and here is everything that is in our directory. We have index, level 8, our temporary folder, and an unknown PHP file which I am predicting contains our password as it did in other tutorials. I will enter an in up here. Here we have it. Our password. Paste it in here. Submit. Congratulations you have successfully completed basic 8. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can contact me at exploitnation.org. In this lesson, we have gone over the difference between server side and client side, and hopefully you've learned that you can now use a server side injection on somebody's vulnerable script to command their server to do different things. Thanks for watching.